Sustainability is one of the major challenges facing the world and design can make a contribution. If you're interested in exploring how design and sustainability are related, this master program is for you. My name is René Weber. I am Professor of Industrial Design Engineering here at Linköping University, and I'm one of the contributors to this master program. Within the focus area of sustainability, we're not too interested in optimizing the near future. We're far more interested in exploring preferable futures and exploring what design can do to make such transitions happen. In order to do that, we will have to employ all different types of design, product design, service design, interaction design, information design, to uh, tackle societal challenges such as designing out food waste or making repair actually happen. Both of these examples have previously been used for the challenge-based studio projects within the master. Within those studio projects, students explored multiple aspects of food waste or, in other years, of repair. Within the repair project, for instance, students did visible repairs of broken products, thus exploring the aesthetics of repairs. They hosted a repair cafe in order to learn why people keep and want to have repairs their products. And they designed systems of actual repair exploring what needs to be done from all kinds of stakeholder perspectives to make repair actually happen in practice. The program offers several dedicated courses allowing you to deepen your sustainability skills. The first uh, of these courses is Sustainable Strategies, in which we explore different philosophical stances on sustainability and how they relate to design. Examples are Cradle to cradle, biomimicry, circular economy. The course is called Design for Sustainable Everyday Life. It explores people's interactions with the design world and how the design world shapes their behavior, habits, activities, and how design could be employed to try and change those behavior, habits, and activities in a more sustainable direction. The third course is called Disruptive Technologies. It uses a toolkit coming from business literature to analyze previous technological disruptions in society and to try and cause future disruptions and transitions. We work with real outside organizations, such as the local recycling plants Techniska Werke. The explorations of how design and sustainability are related connect with you and we would love to see you in our master program in design here at Linköping University.